Hello, my beautiful friend. I'm so happy that you could join me again today. So in one of my previous videos, I promised that I would do the eating video. And that's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> so I got my bottle of water ready. Even though it's not always good for you, but I'm stubborn like that. So let me take a sip. Wonderful. So in one of my previous videos, I got the question, lipstick are you wearing? <laughs> so today I'm going to tell you and because of that I also decided to apply it again. Not because it's a good idea, because personally I don't think it's a good idea to apply um, lipstick <laughs> or lip gloss either way before you are going to eat. But anyways, I decided to show you. So this is the lipstick. It's called Luminelle, and I got it from my grandma, actually, from the Netherlands. And this is how it looks like, or how it looks. I think you say how it looks. I always make that mistake. So. So that's the color that I use, and let me see if it has a number. Mm. Okay, so the color is called Framboise uh, Raspberry 83735. So for all of you that wondered what kind of lipstick I'm using, this is the one. And I would also like to apologize again for any car sounds that you might be able to hear and things like that. I tried to film this as late as possible again, but the road hasn't calmed down yet in front of our house, so I'm sorry about that. Before I'm going to get started, I would like to ask you a question. When I was a kid, I used to do a lot of um, crossword puzzles and I bought myself one because I thought it would be relaxing to do that in a video. So if you would like me to do a video with this, please comment down below and let me know if you would like it to be a sounds only video or if you would like me to do whispering or soft speaking. Whispering or soft speaking. <laughs> So yeah, please let me know down below. And I also would like to tell you that I made a original ASMR roleplay. And the reason why I call it original is because I have seen videos that cover the subject of letting go of worries, but I haven't seen it in the way that I done it. Um, so I already recorded a roleplay for you, and that will be uploaded next. So, with that being said, let's get started with the food. So I have two bowls beside me. Two black bowls that I got from Ikea quite some time ago now. And the things that I will be eating today are the ones that I showed in a previous video, but in case you did not see that, These are the ones, the soy nuts with honey, and the chocolates. In the previous video I said that it's disco dip, 
And the reason why I called it that way is because in the Netherlands you can buy ice cream with a cone. And then you can have different types of dips on it. And the different types of dips come with different names. And one of them is called Disco Dip and it looks exactly like that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start with um, the nuts first. And it comes in a Ziploc bag to keep things fresh, which is awesome. So let me see if I can open this in the most careful way possible. me of sugared peanuts that I used to eat in the Netherlands sometimes, but I haven't had those in a long time. So that's in the bowl. The right word would be, um, they smell like they're roasted and like sugary, caramelized. And these ones just smell like chocolate, really. <laughs> Let's get to the eating sound. Hmm. 
also. My nails are not in that great of a condition because I worked in the garden yesterday. And I cleaned them entirely, but if you work in the garden, sometimes it's hard to clean them entirely. So my apologies if my nails are not in tip-top condition. <laughs> Yeah, they really remind me of puffed rice. And something I used to love when I was a kid. And I haven't had them in so long. But this tastes very similar. And I always catch myself when I'm eating that I always stare at the ground or at the ceiling or anywhere but the camera. <laughs> it's like my mind is trying to make up its mind if I like it. <laughs> but I do. Notice that the older I become, the more I realize again that, um, that I had certain flavors and certain smells in my life when I was younger that I totally forgot about. And then once in a while, once in a while, I find something that matches that memory, and then it's awesome. <laughs> So, it doesn't happen very often that I eat candies and things that are sugared. And the reason for that is actually because bad teeth run in my family. And because of that, when I was a kid, despite the fact that I brushed my teeth twice a day, which I still do, <laughs> I got a lot of holes in my teeth and even when I grow into adulthood you know, you get rid of all your milk teeth, I believe you call them I, um, I noticed that I still have very weak teeth no matter what I use because of that, I always try to stay away from dessert and things that are sweet, too sweet so sometimes I eat something that is so sweet that it literally hurts my teeth. <laughs> so I always try to stay away from that as much as I can. But today, I decided to make an exception for you. Because I love you very much. And I find your relaxation very important. I take that very seriously. <laughs> of course, I take my as well, but once in a while you should be able to make an exception, so thank you for being part of it. <laughs> mm. 
a product from the USA. And it says the protein that goes crunch. I'll be the judge of that. But I believe they're, they're right. It's true. Definitely crunchy. Excuse me. It says, Love your health. It's gluten free. For wherever life takes you. I like that. <laughs> There's soy nuts, honey toasted, 8 grams of protein, 120 calories. I don't know if that's for the whole bag. And 32 milligrams of sodium, which is so, I think I got it right with just keeping this an exception. <laughs> so, let's see what it says on the back. Mm, let me see how many grams this is. So, this is 114 grams. And it says that it contains 120 calories. For 30 grams. It has 8% fibers in it. And there is also some um, saturated fat in here, which is really not great for your body. So, I actually studied um, to become a dietitian when I was around... What age was I? Around, when I was around 19. And I learned a lot about food <laughs> during that time. So this product, I would say, is not that great for you. <laughs> but it's pretty tasty. And I don't do this on a regular basis. I always try to stay away from sweets and fast food and things like that. Once you know what it does to your body and the way how it makes you feel compared to healthy food, that's when I realized, like, okay, I never want to go back. <laughs> so let's eat some more. Let me eat a few more. And then I can't wait to try the chocolates. Finally. Next up is the chocolate with Disco Dip. <laughs> so 
they're like bite size, which I like. So let's try this out. From a scale to from zero, zero to ten, I would say that they're about about an eight, eight I would say. And when I have to judge them in an ASMR way, I would say that they're not that great. <laughs> or not, which is okay. celebrate with one more. Here's the things you don't need, but sometimes you simply just want them.
milk chocolate is my favorite. I don't like pure. And I don't really like white chocolate. White chocolate will definitely create holes in my teeth every time when I eat it. It literally hurts. So, so that was all for today. When it comes down to eating, I would like to share another memory with you. But before you do that, before I'm going to do that, please let me know which one of these two you like the most. Is it the soy nuts? Or is it the chocolates? <laughs> so with that being said, I would like to share a memory with you um, that's still related to something I mentioned a bit earlier in this video and that is that I have bad teeth and my dad was always aware of that but when you're a kid you don't really care, right? So. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> when I'm older, I'm never going to brush my teeth, which is um, the opposite is true, because I have to. Because once you're an adult, you see things in a different way, and you realize that sometimes the things you want <laughs> are not necessarily the things you need. So my dad knew that I was a visual thinker, and my dad would always tell me, imagine this delicious strawberry big, fat, juicy strawberry. And imagine taking a bite out of that fat, juicy, sweet strawberry. And imagine how that would feel like if you don't have your natural teeth anymore. <laughs> so I was like, okay, okay, I think I get it. And I honestly believe that the fact that he told me that taught me to take care of my teeth, even though I didn't want to, but he was able to teach me that brushing your teeth, even when you're a kid and you don't want to, you still have to, and that in the long run, it's better for you, because my dad, his mouth, also because of his diabetes and he had to eat a lot of sugar sometimes when he would, uh, when his blood sugar level would drop. Then I would run downstairs and get candies for him. And, um, yeah, that's, that's when he taught me, like, you have to take good care of your teeth because you don't want to end up like me. Because my dad, his whole mouth was full with gold and, like, metal fillings. Because during the time that my dad got braces when he was younger. The technology really wasn't that great. So, because of that, he had braces, but also got a lot of holes in his teeth because of it, on top of the fact that he didn't have great teeth to begin with. So, he really made that visual for me by sharing that memory, or by sharing that visual image of a big, fat, juicy strawberry, because I when I was a kid, I loved strawberries, so for me it worked, and it left a good impression on me, and I think that he accomplished his mission, <laughs> since I'm taking better care of my teeth a lot better than when I used to be a kid, and I think that that prevented a lot of trouble, <laughs> so. so I would like to end with that little story for you today. And please don't forget to let me know down below, if you like, of course, if you would like me to do a video with this crossword puzzle. Let me know if this is something you're interested in. If so, please give it a thumbs up if you like, or comment down below. And I'll see you again soon in another roleplay.